hello everyone thank you for clicking onto this video welcome back to my channel i hope this video is reaching you guys in good health and strength for the god's riches love his joy his peace his happiness and all of the amazing and wonderful things that life has to offer so in today's video i will be showing you how i achieve this 90s inspired makeup look um it's simple it's very easy and the video is sped through but I will be doing this voiceover to let you know all of the products that I use. So I'm starting off on a cleanse face and I'm applying my primer which is a the milk primer which I really like. Then I went in with my foundation. It is the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation and because of the winter time my skin is a little bit lighter than usual but this foundation is really nice, it's very smooth and it looks really good on the skin. So I'm applying my concealer and that is the Maybelline um, Fit Me Concealer. I'm applying that to the center of my face so that it will bring light to the center of my face. And I'm just blending it out using a uh, concealer brush by Elf Cosmetics. And I went ahead and set that concealer with translucent powder um, by the Laura Mercier um, company. And you can use any translucent powder of your choice. So I just used a beauty blender to set it and um, I let that sit while I applied my eyeshadow. So for eyeshadow base I'm using the Max Paint Pot. And I can't really remember the name of the color right now. I don't have the product in front of me. And for my eyeshadow, I use the It's My Ray Ray palette. It's one of my favorite palettes to use. Um, I like the colors. I like the I like everything about it. It looks really nice on my skin. So that's what I used on my eyes. <laughs> That I'm using is by the NYX brand and it's my favorite liquid liner right now my other favorite <laughs> liner they don't make it anymore it was the NYC um, liquid liner that one was really nice but anyway enough of that <laughs> so I added a little glitter just to spice up the eyes a little bit um, if you do decide to do this look you can do this if you want to and so for my eyebrows I am using the elf cosmetics um, eyebrow pencil which is like two dollars and it's really good and I'm just cleaning it up using the um, concealer that I used on my eyes so to make the eyebrow look a little bit more uniform <laughs> So here's a quick tip on how to not get flashback when you apply a translucent powder on to set your concealer. You're going to take the setting powder, so in this case I'm using the MAC Studio Fix um, setting powder and it's in the color NW45 I believe and I just use that to dust away the white so that it won't have my face looking too ashy or there will be any flashback. So I'm just applying blush and the blush is from Black Radiance and it's an artesian, baked artesian blush. It's a berry, it's a berry one and I applied a little too much so what I do to diffuse that, I take my setting powder and I just go over it as demonstrated in the video right now. One thing I noticed a lot about the 90s makeup, they focused a lot on enhancing the beauty of the uh, subject so it wasn't cakey um, 
makeup or anything like that it was just bringing out the person's features so i hope that i was able to demonstrate that in this video and you kind of get the gist of where i was going with it so for liner i am applying this is mac i want to say chestnut and um, yeah they use a lot of uh, brown lip liners in those days too <laughs> And then for lipstick, this is Milani um, lipstick. I can't remember the name, but I will uh, list it down in the description box. So check it out if you are interested in this particular color. And um, I just topped it off with some butter gloss by NYX, which is a chocolate butter gloss. And spritz my face. And that was it for the look. So I'm going to end it here. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And uh, give back a comment down below. Let me know what you think about it. God bless you. See you in another video very soon. Bye. Please subscribe. <laughs>